Okay, plant gang, glad you're joining us. Behind me, purple-leafed barberry, barberry, Berberus thunbergii variety, atropurpurea. Whenever we hear atropurpurea, we think, man, it must have, it must have burgundy or dark, kind of reddish purple foliage, and this holds true here. Berberus thunbergii variety, atropurpurea. Uh, now, if you want to keep uh, your neighbors uh, out of your backyard, and you want a big screen, well, perhaps this is it uh, because it is covered with thorns, but the foliage is quite striking. Uh, you can see uh, this big kind of mound behind me, almost like a big haystack of beautiful burgundy foliage with reddish stems. Uh, this is, for us in East Tennessee, uh, in a mild winter, it can keep quite a few of its leaves in the wintertime, uh, but classified as deciduous, and so it'll lose its foliage uh, during the wintertime. It'd really be an architectural mound of thorns, which can be uh, beautiful in some cases. Now this plant is used quite extensively, in particular in the Midwest, Great Plains, uh, because it is quite hardy. It can, it can survive living in a parking lot median. You can put it where you don't want people to walk. Uh, and so uh, it is an interesting plant, uh, one that maybe has lost a little bit of favor, favor uh, but there are some newer dwarf small cultivars that have come out uh, that are more adaptable to the landscape, also smaller, stay in check, you don't need to prune them. Uh, you don't want to put this in a place in a home landscape where you want to prune it because it is covered with thorns, which really is the calling card, the hallmark of the Berberidaceae family. And so behind me, Berberus thunbergii variety atropurpurea. It does have beautiful spring yellow blooms, uh, which do kind of cascade uh, over, the, over the plant. That could be quite nice. Uh, there are some invasiveness issues with certain barberries, so you want to be aware of that. Uh, so uh, consider Berberus thunbergii the purple-leafed uh, barberry. Berberus thunbergii variety atropurpurea really variable depending on cultivar for size, three to six foot high, four to seven foot wide, can survive zones four through eight, maybe even a little bit colder, maybe a little bit warmer as well. Uh, but here's a landscape tip. Great for barriers and masses, attractive foliage is a great addition to any landscape. Great for barriers and masses, attractive foliage is a great addition to any landscape.